Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Boozer here. Got an exciting video for you guys today. We got some news from Plarium. Um, the first look at our upcoming Fragment event champion. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, go over his kit and uh, go over my first thoughts on this champion. Uh, I'm just going to bring him up right here. This is his kit. I'll move myself. Strat, Stratagos, Stratagos. Islin. He's a high elf, legendary defense based champion. Um the fusion will be a fragment base, as mentioned, starting on August 31st. So Plarium has this to say about Stratagos. He is a tanky champion with nice control abilities and specific heal mechanics. He would definitely be handy in PvE content where the crowd control is a real deal. Hydra can be his place to shine thanks to his healing abilities as well as Iron Twins Fortress where apart from massive heals, the decreased speed debuff on Stratagos Islin A2 will be a must. So personally, I don't think um, this champion will be particularly strong in Iron Twins based on his A2. Uh, when something like Stagnite has a decreased speed on his A1, um, this might be more efficient, um, but we'll see. Let's see the rest of his kit. So his A1 is a double hit, has a 35% chance, up to 50% chance uh, to provoke. When counterattacking, chance to increase to 50% or 65% chance. Uh, I mean, it's kind of okay. Husk is a double hit 40% chance without this extra bonus from the um, counter attack but also husk I think books up to 40% as opposed to booking up to 50% and then having the extra bonus so his a1 is slightly better than somebody like husk for provoking um, is it ideal is he good enough to be like a hydra provoker by himself probably not uh, just because the a1 alone is not enough uh, usually so you, you can be a good backup but not the main provoker for Hydra. Uh, his A2 is also going to be pretty good for Hydra, although it is on a three turn cooldown, but it is a 100% chance AOE decrease defense. Um, and it has a neg um, sorry, decreased duration on enemy buffs, which is kind of useful, but not super useful if you have a good team. Um, so if you can block their buffs or remove their buffs already, then the second half of this skill isn't going to be excellent it is on three turn cooldown uh which is good um so but an aoe decrease speed is good so moving on looks like this is his signature spill uh, skill flawless stratagem six turns down to four turns with two books ally protection increased defense on the whole team places kind of like a valk style move only on himself counterattack plus shield on himself only the shield is proportionate to his own defense it's kind of crazy how much stronger valk's uh counterattack move with the shield is because it places it on the full team uh, he does place ally protection and increased defense on the full team as well although i guess he does protect himself with the shield uh, he places on himself so that is a little bit of protection for himself since he will be soaking up a lot of damage from ally protection. I mean, is it good? Yeah, for clan boss it's fine. Four turn cooldown, ally protection, increased defense. Um, similar to like jaw rag has a four turn cooldown but obviously it doesn't place any kind of shield or counter attack on himself. So yeah, he can be tuned for, for clan boss. Um, but yeah, Hydra seems like it's probably going to be okay i guess he places the counter attack on himself and an extra shield so two extra buffs so he will be targeted by mischief head so if you don't build him with resistance he's going to get all his buffs stolen um pretty frequently so he, that's probably something to watch out for the other issue is that he needs accuracy as well so he's gonna you're gonna have to build him with accuracy resistance high defense and probably obviously good speed and good hp so he's going to need every single stat. Um, I mean, I don't expect his multipliers to be insane for damage. So I wouldn't build him for damage right now. But you never know. Maybe his AoEs um, slam really hard. But it's, it's highly unlikely that he will be doing a lot of slamming. So uh, He has a passive protect the troops. Whenever this champion is attacked, heal themselves with 1% for each 500 defense this champion has. 
Um, heal all other allies under ally protection placed by this champion by 30% of the skills initial heal. Okay, so let's say you build them with 5,000 defense, which is probably something like that's kind of reasonable. I would expect him to have pretty high defense, base defense. So maybe like we don't know his base stats yet, so maybe like 1450, 1500. And then you give him, you know, you build him up to like 5k or something. Let's say you build him up to 5k, he, he heals by 10% when he gets hit. So, you know, it's not going to be as good as like somebody like Volgoth, for example, but it is an extra little bit of damage, incoming damage, not really mitigation, but it is healing. So it protects himself from the, from the damage a little bit and the ally protection heal on your team. Let's say he heals for, uh, let's say he heals for 10% of his total health, which is, let's say it's 50k health. So he heals for five five k. Your allies will only heal by thirty percent of five k. So it doesn't seem that impressive, but it is a passive with no cooldown, so it's a little bit extra healing here and there um, for himself. So it's not not terrible, but nothing too insane. Uh, his aura increased ally accuracy in all battles by sixty. All battles is good. Sixty also solid and accuracy also very good um so that's strategos islin he's a high elf by the way so high elves they're actually pretty decently represented um although not overly so but they're probably not lacking any champions per um so um let's see here just jump in he is magic he's magic based so yeah we don't know what any of his base stats or multipliers yet but this is his kit it to me it looks kind of meh um he will definitely find some use for um, earlier accounts like for an earlier account he's definitely a solid champion um but to be honest this guy kind of reminds me of like uh, sigmund high shield like a good kit but kind of like boring not not a huge massive game changer i would think would this guy make it onto any like Hydra team? Probably not. Um, his A2 probably needed an AOE provoke. So his A1 provoke, A2 AOE provoke with decreased speed. I think that would be pretty good. Um, but as it stands, as it stands, I don't think he's going to make it into too many teams. He'll be a decent uh, champion for starter Hydra teams maybe that lack AOE decreased speed or provoke or have some issues backup provoking maybe um but he's defense based so he's not going to be super hard to build but like i said he does place two buffs on himself so he will be targeted by mischief uh, get his buff stolen very often so resistance is probably needed on him but yeah something to consider uh, this is just the first look at the champion um to me he looks kind of boring even visually he looks kind of boring um he's in a faction that doesn't need another one of these like boring champions to be honest it's like um he's gonna be a fragment fusion i mean probably gonna be relatively okay to get like he's gonna be easier to get than like nut or emic uh, since this is only a fragment fusion but i wouldn't expect plarium to let off the gas on some of the um the point thresholds in some of their their events also it's on august 31st so it's thursday so when you guys are seeing this video it's only going to be four days away doesn't give a lot of time to uh prepare uh doesn't give a lot of time to yeah so you know if you guys are expecting somebody insane this guy's not it i don't i can't see this guy being very insane his kit is very straightforward uh there's no secret sauce that he's going to be mixed up with other champions that's going to make him insane uh, that i can see uh, personally right now um, and yeah kind of boring generic but solid champion uh, he'll fit in in some mid mid accounts for sure anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, let me know what you guys think of the new champion i mean we're just having our first looks right now so let me know and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next video